we're back on the roof. So we got this Intel pack here. I guess the fire department was here. Uh, one of the suite. <clears throat> well, they say the whole upstairs was blowing smoke. Um, and they said they killed the power, but the power's still on this. But I did notice that we had an issue with the exhaust fan. So if we hit, um, I've stopped the unit. But uh, if we hit the diagnostic button, and then we hit next, we see an exhaust fan failure. So we gotta see what's going on with that. Uh, because that should have exhausted any smoke that was in the system. So we'll check that out. And then I'm thinking maybe it's one of the VAV's blower motors went bad. Um, so yeah, we'll see. So here we go. Since I'm up here, I'm just kind of checking, making sure that, you know, nothing's crazy. Uh, the fan was running when I showed up. Belt seemed to be okay. Smooth operation. Here. Motor temperature seems to be okay. It's not super hot or anything. So we're just ruling this out. And we're gonna go ahead and check our exhaust fan, see what's going on with that. Now, if you notice the Exhaust fan failure is not in the active log or the active issues, but uh, you know, somebody probably didn't clear it. Seems to be okay. Belt looks good. Uh, there, this right here, this is a pressure switch, so this actually proves that this is working. So if for some reason this tube's dirty or the pressure switch has failed, uh, it, it will give you a fan failure code. But yeah, it seems to be okay. This belt's a little kind of tight. But yeah, we want to rule everything out. I'm going to check the filters next. Filters are clear. Looks like they were just changed last month. Yeah, so everything seems to be okay with this unit. So I, I suspect it's one of the VAVs that's the problem. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and verify that that pressure switch is working. Um, and then. If it is, we'll move on and try to find that VAV that's causing the issue. So yeah, I'll show you how we test this pressure switch. All right, just making sure, I'm just doing a visual inspection, make sure there's no like signs of burning or anything. I don't think there is, everything looks okay. Um, one of the things you can use your laser gun for is checking temperatures on contactors and you know, fuses, make sure nothing's overheating. But I'm not seeing any signs of it, you know, smoking or anything like that. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and check that pressure switch. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these two wires off. You're gonna put your alligator clips on here and you're gonna set to continuity. Um, and then if you have a fancy meter like I do, I'm gonna turn the wireless on. That way I can monitor it with the door closed. I'm just gonna put it up there just so it doesn't fall, just in case. Because uh, if it falls down there, it's gone. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so we can go ahead and close this door. And then we're gonna enter service mode and cycle the exhaust fan. And we're gonna uh, monitor on my phone and see if it actually closes or not. And generally, I'm gonna do this at a 5%, so let's give it a shot. All right, so we got our meter connected. Uh, we got our units uh, powered on. I have it stopped. I'm gonna hit service mode. Um, and then I'm gonna make my changes here. So, all right, drive max, cool. So we want this set to drive max, that way it opens up all the VAVs. Okay, uh, condensers are on auto. All our compressors are off, good. Heat stage is off. Outdoor amper is 100%, exhaust is 74% and it's on. I'm going to reduce this to 5%. Uh, I just want to make sure that it makes that switch close. Because usually it's not going to run less than 5%. I'm going to hit enter. We're going to hit start test. And it's going to count down 5 seconds and then it should come on. So we're going to go ahead and watch this and see if it closes. Oh, there we go. It just closed. 
So it's probably an old code. Uh, sometimes the pressure tubes get dirty, so somebody probably cleaned it out and didn't clear the code. So, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and get my meter. And then uh, we'll put it back into normal mode. Okay, so we got it all hooked back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this off, put it back in auto, and we're gonna go see if we can find our VAV. Okay, so now that we got all the panels and everything put back together, we need to go ahead and clear the diagnostic log. So we're gonna hit diagnostics. No active diagnostic, we're gonna hit next. There's our log. Okay, and we're gonna hit the cancel button. It's gonna ask for a password. Now usually they have the passwords right here. So clear diagnostic log is minus plus plus minus. So minus plus plus minus, enter. And now it's clearing it. And as you can see, now it's gone. Got nothing on there. Okay, unit is stopped. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the auto button to go back into normal mode. It's gonna think a little bit and then it's gonna go ahead and go into normal mode. Okay, so after a, a mini panic attack, uh, apparently this one just takes a while for it to reset. It came back on, so usually when you hit auto, it'll start thinking and then you'll start seeing this stuff. Uh, but this one took a good 10 minutes before that happened, so um, yeah. So anyway, it's operating fine. So we're gonna go see if we can find that VAV. All right, we found our VAV. This thing was buzzing. And it's pretty much locked up, so. I think we found our problem. So it's gonna be fun to uh, replace this bolt motor. Yeah, so this is our guy here. I just turned it off right now. Turns out that the fire guys or the firefighters turned off the building automation system not this unit that's why the smell still so strong of course there's all kinds of stuff in the way so we can't see that so I turned the power off on this one but the blower motor was definitely buzzing and it's not spinning normally so this is the HP circuit 7911 so we got the new motor installed, it's running, it's spinning in the correct direction, thank God, because that would have been a pain. That was a total pain. Uh, one of the tenants came and was, uh, you know, watching me, so I had to stop filming, but uh, it's back up and running. Uh, the smell totally cleared up, you know, after I, I actually killed the power, because what had happened was the uh, fire department had come out and they flipped the breaker, which just cut off the, the building automation system, so that unit was still running. Uh, and it was about 180 degrees when I first killed the power. When I took it out of the ceiling, it was about 140, which is still really hot for being off for that time. Uh, but yeah, that motor was totally seized and just overheated. And what had happened was all the greases and all the oils that were in there, uh, they had vaporized and that's what we were smelling. So if you ever smell that burning smell, usually it's a blower motor. Uh, but we did check the IntelliPak. Uh, we verified that that uh, exhaust fan was working and that the pressure switch that proves the exhaust fan's working was closing. Um, so yeah, we're good to go. So hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.